Hi, I'm Emma and this video is to help get you and your team set up quickly and easily so you can start creating awesome work together on NICE. I'm going to show you how you can create a new board, invite your team, add content and share it for review. So let's get started. This is the boards dashboard where you'll find all the boards you've created. So to create a new board, all you have to do is click here. Let's imagine we're creating a mid board for an upcoming campaign. So we're going to click up here and name it S3 campaign. And for this example, we want to select blank board, but you can always choose one of our pre-designed templates if you'd rather a good starting point. Just remember that they are entirely adaptable, so you're free to change the layout if you wish. Okay, so you've created a new board and like all creative tools, it's good to just dive in and find your bearings. But I'll just quickly point out a few things that you might need to know. So you can search and navigate to any of our boards from this view at the side. And this is where you'll add people to the board, but I'll come back to that in a bit. And if you go over here, you'll see options to share, export and style your board. And the zoom feature is really useful if you need to get a better view. And if you go down here and hit the plus icon, you'll see options to add a subboard, which is like a subfolder, add text, embed media from the likes of YouTube and upload images. But I think it's easier to just drag my images in in bulk so I can just grab them from a folder on my computer and drag them in like this. So the layout will automatically adjust around them to keep everything aligned to the grid. And I just need to make sure that I wait until this green progress bar at the top has finished loading before I close the board. So before I go any further, I want to add people so they can add content as well. I can go up here and select a few existing team members and I can add someone new by typing their email address in here. And if I want to add everyone on my team at once, I can just click here and I can set it back to private if need be. Just remember that boards are private by default, they are only visible to others if you want them to be. My teammates will be notified by email that I've added them to the board and their avatar will pop up here. And you'll also be notified when they add content to the board. Now we want to adjust the layout. So I can grab images and move them around the grid just like this. And hit the enlarge icon to make them bigger. And to make the images smaller again, I just hover over the enlarge icon and hit the alt or option key. And you can also use the grab handles to resize manually like this. Now I just need to add some context to the board, so when we share it out, the reviewer has a better idea of the vibe that we're going for. So I'm just going to add a description in here, and then I'm just going to go down here and type a few captions. And to add in some keywords by dragging in the text tool. So before I send the board for review, I just want to get my teammates thoughts on something. I can click the comment button on an image and start typing. And use the marker tool to annotate. My teammates will be notified of any comments that I make so they can respond. Okay, so now we're finished, we're ready to send the board to Jen and Chris for review. So I'm just going to click up here and type in the email addresses, separating them with a comma. I'm just going to leave this as it is, but I'm going to make sure I have these two things checked. So just remember that reviewers don't need to have nice accounts and there are no expiring links. The board stays live for as long as I need it. The reviewers can tap the board link within the email on any device to leave feedback on the board. They don't have to wait until they're back at their desk. I'll be notified by email when they open the board and I'll get inboard notifications when there is new board activity. Now I'll want to see an overview of all the comments and stars that I have on the board. Think of it as a roundup of all the pieces of feedback so I can make a more informed decision on what to do next. And that's it, a quick overview of how you and your team can get started on NICE. Have a go and let us know what you think.